Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your queen, divine mother, goddess Yamaya, your intuitive guide, and I am coming back with another intuitive reading for you all today. Today is December the 11th. It is 2022, 12, 11, 22. Those numbers, if they don't resonate with you, oh my goodness, I see a lot of one and twos, almost like 12, 12, or one, 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 two, one, two, or one, one, two, two, things like that or yeah that's what i'm seeing <laughs> oh, those are powerful numbers so today is a significant number um as far as numerology guys so make sure you send your manifestations putting them out there into the universe making sure that you are speaking positivity into the universe so that the law of attraction can find you and give you back what you are speaking out into the universe okay so the first card we have out here is going to be for sun, moon, and rising signs. This could also be placements in your north node, guys, or your Venus, okay? But guys, even if you're a cross watcher, it is okay for you to be here. This may or may not resonate with you, but if it does, guys, make sure you do um, a thumbs up for the video as well as subscribe to the channel if you like to be updated on all of my latest reads, guys, okay? I don't do them daily anymore. I try to stay up to date and for sure get um, you guys out. I try to do at least one um, of the Zodiac reads for your specific sign once a week and the element signs once a week as well, okay? So if you don't find something in the read for the um, your Zodiac sign throughout the week, be sure to look at the other ones because you don't have to look at all of them. But if once you get your placements and you know um, what is in your chart by going to cafeastrology.com, then you'll be able to, you know, fill yourself in when it comes to these readings. You'll know, you know, if a reading is talking to you or not, depending on what you have in your chart, okay? May or may not resonate with you. You'll know more if you and have more clarity if you book a reading, okay? If not with me, someone is specific. At this time, I am not doing personal readings, but I will be um, dropping that information down um, in the community board once I am, okay? So the first card we have out here is Queen of Sheba. Secrets Revealed. So you could be related to Queen of Sheba, um, but that is in the reverse. So some someone could have been trying to tell secrets about you. Someone could be 36 years old. Someone could have thought they knew something about you, knew your business, tried to go and run their mouth and tell people shit about you, and they couldn't. Or And this, this is also a situation where someone um, could have been trying to find out information about you as well and going to a source that actually knows your business and they didn't give them shit about you because they value you and respect you. And this is someone who is a friend of yours. Yeah. You could have some heritage not only to Africa, but to Native Americans and Indians. I'm here in West Indian. I know in the West Indies, there's a lot of darker skin complexion people. You could be darker skin. A lot of people in your family could be. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius out here as well. Celestial alignment coming out in the reverse. Oshan could be connected to you. Um, fearless love. You have fearless love. Someone has a lot of love for you, but we're getting the celestial alignment card out here. This could be some, um, but in the reverse, manifestations in reverse as well. Wow, that's a lot. I'm not gonna take that though. I'm not, the only one I'm gonna take is the Tati worthiness. You're a worthy person. 14 could be significant to you. Celestial alignment is coming out in the reverse. Well, not even on the reverse. It's like sideways. We're get, we got one, four, and four, one. 
one four and four one is significant you can need to look that up as far as um angel numbers is concerned someone could be a divine being and they're not in their you know they're not acting out of their divine characteristics at this time someone could be you know more so moving out of their human moving out of you know humankind kind of behavior this is someone who is not supposed to be you know getting attached to worldly things but they've gotten caught up in the world um they misidentify with who they are they don't know that they're a divine being this is something that spirit is just giving me a direct message when i say this it's my guides telling me this live out loud someone could be living out loud or someone could like to live out loud someone could be 31 years old like to live out loud they could have a lot of um miracles happen in their life Someone could be tapping into their um, celestial DNA at this time, living fearless and shameless as well, with shame coming out in the reverse. Scorpio, you're living shameless at this time. Someone could be 19, 41, 31, 14, 36. Okay. You're not going to take these, even though Spirit wants. You're not resisting something. Gang, gang, Sarah wants to come out, but we're putting her back in. If she comes out, that is definitely a part of this message for you, Scorpio, okay? <laughs> but you're living shameless. You're living out loud at this time. You're just, you know, you know your worth. Can't nobody make you feel ashamed about anything. Someone could have tried to comfort you, tried to embarrass you, make you feel bad about a decision you've made. Yeah, but they can't. Self-sabotage is coming out in the re reverse. You're not someone who fuck over yourself. You like to take care of yourself as well. And you don't surround yourself with snakes either. Um, you, if you did, um, Spirit is saying, then you would be sabotaging yourself. And um, ultimately leading yourself into a ditch where you will be overcome. I'm hearing succumb. <laughs> intuition you like you use your intuition your intuition is very strong at this time you could be a mother you could have a son your son or you could be um expecting a son he's going to be royalty you could have a son that is of royalty someone could have been trying to um come for your creativity and your joy someone was trying to stop your creativity so that you wouldn't have joy and yeah this is someone who is in celest celestially aligned. That card is coming right up under um, celestial. Someone was trying to stay, take your joy. Someone wanted to see you sad. This is someone who's unable to manifest. And spirit is saying to stop there. Don't take any more cards. Um... I'm going to be doing a read. Um, I'm going to incorporate the Rose to Roll deck into this read. I'm sorry. Right now, you could be void when it comes to having love and ecstasy and sensuality in your life. You could be single at this time. Um, there's no romance, no pleasure. You could not be having sex at this time. Could be sealed it. You could be torn right now, heartbroken by love and feeling like it's not going to you know, come back around for you or you're never going to have love or you could feel like you're going to die single. Spirit is saying that's not going to be your fate. 
but this isn't the right time. The bloom in reverse. You could be questioning why love isn't coming around at this time. It says creation creations realize right time harvest celebrate but that's in the reverse you will be having a celebration but it's not the right time for you scorpio this isn't your moment right now it will be coming and it'll be it will be beautiful but this isn't the um time it's not over though it says after the rain silver lining relief hope mercy it's over acceptance you may not be able to accept this or may, may not believe in someone else. May not be able to understand or accept the separation that you guys are in at this time. Someone could have been trying to um, prevent some truths from coming out so that they wouldn't be put to shame. This is someone who, um, you know is uncreative or this is someone who doesn't work a lot or this is someone who doesn't come up with a lot of ideas or this is someone who could piggyback off of your ideas you could be someone who comes around and bring this person a lot of fulfillment as well as you could open this person up um to where they're able to um come up with new ideas brainstorm you know um you could be someone who this person piggybacks off of ideas as well yeah this is someone who doesn't have have an identity at this time it says healing the mother line healing ancestral work mother line growing up someone who you are with or you you're you both could be healing at this time you're in separation with someone and you guys both are healing yeah you could be healing from uh, family issues healing um something between you and your mother you could have mother issues or someone that is connected with you who you're not able to, you know, create with at this time because they don't understand who you are at this time to them and they're not devoted to you. Um, you know, they're only lust lustful for you, so you can't be with them. This could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Someone could be really dark. 12, 16 is significant. 1224, 1214, the 14th, 1214 through the 16th is significant to someone. Something is significant about the 24th as well, Christmas Eve. So keep that in mind. Something could be taking place. Some secrets can be revealed on Christmas Eve. Um, regarding a situation it says lineage of the rose moved by the goddess here for this so-called gather someone could have been recently um you know in contact with the goddess or you could be a goddess and you um move someone to get ready to change or answer a soul calling or you could be answering your soul calling and answering and you know in connection right now with your ancestors they're guiding you at this time the crowning initiation threshold birth rebirth a seat at the table yeah you are someone who's a queen as well as someone who's a part of a higher i hear galactic <laughs> you might be a galactic being or be a high council a part of the high council as far as um on the galactic um the galactic council when they're judging people you could be someone who judges people in the spiritual realm you have a really high ranking you're someone who's like literally the goddess reincarnated here yeah, no, not right now. Okay. Hold on, baby. Ready, go out of the room. One second, guys. I'm trying to make sure my daughter don't get in this camera. Bye, Bye baby. Bye. Okay, it says, Rose without thorns, you have a right to joy peace weakness of life yeah 
you got a seat at the table. You're someone who could have a hard time making friends here um, in the on the earthly plane, but you have a lot of friends and a lot of um, respect from people. You could need to take care of yourself. You could um, be slowing down on your um, self care. Um, it says that you need to um, tend to your garden. The wastelands you haven't been it's in the reverse you need to take care of yourself and you need to take care of your own um, business as well uh, you need to pick up the pace when it comes to that becoming more self-sufficient you could be going through a down spiral right now but this is on your own this is not something that spirit is taking you through you're leading yourself into destruction sophia but we we did have self-sabotage in reverse this could be, you know, someone who you're not with at this time. Could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius who's doing this to themselves. Sophia, divine plan, wisdom, intelligence within, and destiny. This is your destiny. And your ancestors is um, putting this together, directing you and this person. Remember your roots, perspective, and trust their weavings. Yeah, your ancestors are working with you at this time. Spirit, what's going to be the outcome of this person's fortune or you know, finances? Just going to take a card from the Kipper deck, Scorpio, and that is going to be closing out this read. <coughs> the number 26 could be significant, excuse me. Great fortune. 10, 26, 39. Someone's birthday could be October 26. Someone could be 39 years old. Someone could be getting ready to take a trip to their family with the community card. And someone's getting ready to take a trip back home to where they're originally from. One of the two. Someone has a fake family though. As I said, false. There's going to be some negative shit that happens when someone shows up or someone wasn't expected for you to show up um, to see them and your family. And when you do, it won't be, you know, the love you feel for them. You're happy and excited to go back home. Could be going for the holidays, could be showing up around Christmas Eve and they won't be happy that you're there. Yeah, someone is not going to be happy to see you walk through the motherfucking door and that's so fucked up. Because you're, you know, you're taking a lot of measures to get to this person to see them for the holidays. And they're not going to, you know, have any appreciation about it. Or you were expecting to go and see someone that could be a part of your family for the holidays. And you're not able to go. And those expectations you had to go is being stopped. You can't go. 1028 could be significant as well. You see this? So, this man is hoping to take a trip. Doesn't have to be a man. And expectation in reverse. Didn't get to go. This woman didn't get to go on this trip that she was planning to go to. She's planning to go, she's planning to go see someone she cares about. Could be someone in her family. Could be going to go see someone in her family. But plans were put to a hope. Yeah, because there's there's something that's not balanced out with the justice card coming out in the reverse on the top of the deck. Yeah, this is some fucked up shit. The devil and the death card coming out. Yeah, someone is being deceptive. Someone from your past. The death card, Scorpio. The devil, the will, 
seven of swords and the six of cups. Someone from your past is bitter about a situation in regards to you and they wanna hurt you. This is someone who's doing something behind your back. This is someone who could be trying to, you know, come up against you and they're making it seem like they're a friend. This is a friend of me of yours, someone from your past, someone who hasn't gotten over something that could have happened in your past. Yeah, with the will card in the reverse, this is someone who's going through some fucked up shit in their life and they want to see um, some fucked up shit happen to you with the seven of swords. This is someone who doesn't want to stop, you know, trying to one up you. Pretty much. This is someone who doesn't want to let go of the past. They don't want to let go of a situation that they felt like you did them wrong on. This is someone who could be obsessed with fucking with you. This is someone who could end up dying over fucking with you. But this this death card also means that there's an ending to something that was not healthy for you. There's an ending to this. Someone could have needed to tell you some truths and they didn't from your past. This could be an ex. But this person at this time, because you walked away from them, they want to hurt you. You wanted to take a trip to see them, but they were going to do something fucked up to you. They had a bad plan and it was to stab you in your back with the seven of swords yeah this person was going to literally stab you in your back could have caused you to die too this person was trying to lure you in to get get you knocked off that's another situation that's not for everybody that's a specific situation to someone but yeah that's crazy 613 could be significant 713, 715, 713, 17, 10, 6, 10, 7, 10, 13, 10, 15, 10, 28, 10, 10, definitely a completion, or there will be someone is trying to hold on to something, they don't want an ending to come in, or a cycle to be closed out, but it you know, it's already closed out. You've already walked away and this person is still holding on to the past. With the devil card. This person can't seem to let you go. This is someone who could have tattoos on their chest. They could have a tattoo on their arm as well. This is someone who could have long hair. Someone who also has a dog. But, guys, that is what I have for you. Guys, at this time, please do thumbs up the video as well as subscribe to my channel. Scorpio, thank you for stopping in. Take care of yourself and be mindful of the people you surround yourself with. And make sure that you... I want to hear fact check. <laughs> I, I want to say fact check. But that is because secrets revealed is in the reverse. So, there's someone who's hiding something from you. And with the Seven of Swords card coming out, there's someone who definitely can't be trusted, who wants to come back around you. But they're only doing it to try to snake you. They could be trying to invite you to see them. They'll go and see them. They're going to try to snake you as well. It could also lead to your death. But that doesn't have to be that. Someone is getting ready to walk into their karma. And if you walk into their life, you're going to walk into the same karma that they are getting ready to face. And so you need to steer clear. But that is what I have for you at this time. So please do thumbs up the video. Subscribe to my channel. Click that bell for the notifications. Guys, and I love to see you soon. Thank you for your love and light as I am always sending you mine. I will see you very soon. Okay, Scorpio? Bye.